Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Jenkins uh, Google Summer of Code. Uh, today we have a, a presentation uh, by uh, Xie Cheng. He is uh, one of uh, Google Summer of Code student. He is working on a code coverage API plugin. Uh, if you're interested to get more information about Google Summer of Code, uh, please go to Jenkins IO website and there is a JSOC project. Um, so, Xie, if you share your screen, uh, maybe we could. Uh, uh, start from short introductions, and then, yeah, of course, there will be a demo of the project. Yeah, uh, I'm sharing my screen now. So, mm -hmm. uh, so you can hear, you can see my screen clearly. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, so, can can you see my screen clearly? Yes. I have shoot a, a presentation now. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, uh, this project is uh, for uh, soccer uh, 2018 uh, Jenkins uh, uh, code coverage API plugin. And uh, uh, my name is uh, uh, Sun Zheng. Uh, you can call my English name Xia Chen. And uh, I am a third year student at Henan University. Uh, uh, this is my GitHub uh, ID. And uh, so, uh, so for code coverage API plugin, uh, uh, now there, uh, there are a lot. Uh, why we want to uh implement our plugin, which uh, uh in implement this plugin. Um, uh, first, uh, it's big. Uh, there have three reasons. Um, first, there are a lot of plugins which currently implement uh, code coverage. Uh, like uh, Kabashula plugin, uh, Jcoco plugin, and uh, uh, something like that. Uh, so uh, uh. If we, if there have more code coverage to uh, appear in in the future, and uh, uh, if we don't have a uh, more generic uh, API plugin for code coverage, we might have to implement more plugin for the uh, code coverage talk. Uh, the second is uh, most code coverage report have the same structure. They can all be uh, passed to a tree. Uh, passed to a tree. Uh, for example. Uh, uh, for uh, for example, if we uh have a Java uh college college code college toss, uh, I I think most of them is uh of most of most report of them is like a uh, package class file and uh, this structure. Uh, each node uh, uh each node can be viewed as a uh, uh, each new each node is a uh, Package uh, class and mothers and uh, its uh, child node is uh, and also have a child node uh, like a uh, uh, class of a package uh, method of class. So uh, I think most college report uh, have the same structure that can be viewed as a tree. The third is uh, most college report have the similar content. Content, for example, uh, we can say uh, the most. Uh, uh, the most uh, import, uh, the most uh, core code coverage report uh, have the um, some attribute like uh, called uh, called line, missed line, uh, bunch called uh, and branch missed. So uh, most uh, code coverage report uh, they all have the similar content. So this is why uh, we need to uh, implement a uh, uh, we need to have a uh, code coverage API plugin for all of the those. Uh, Called uh, coverage toss, and uh, uh, instead have uh, having one plugin for each code coverage results uh, results, it uh, would be best if we can have a plugin have those uh, feature. One is provide uh, provide a easy to use API to merge and implement a code coverage tool, and the second is. Uh, uh, does most uh, repeat work like a uh, passing report showing result or, uh, for plugin developer, and uh, third, have a uh, um, have a more uh, user friendly uh, interface in both config and the result page for users. Uh, in order to uh, implement that, uh, we can uh, my uh, our project have design those mechanism. So first. Uh, if we want to implement it, uh, coverage code coverage tool, uh, we can only do the two things. 
One is implement a cold coverage report at pad extension point. And the second is implement a cold coverage report at pad described as uh, the described for this ex ex for this extension point. Uh, we can see an example for it uh, to view it how uh, simple. So uh, if we want to implement a Kabachula uh, report, a Kabachula code coverage report, uh, we can simply just do the two things. Uh, uh, first, uh, implement the Java XML cover uh, coverage report at path. And uh, uh, I think I should uh, uh, make it uh, more. Actually, it uh, works uh, pretty well even uh, in the original uh, font size. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so no, up to you. So first, uh, we, ca uh, we can just uh, uh, implement the Java XML coverage report at pad. This at pad is a extension point. Uh, extension point. Uh, we can see, uh, the second, uh, we can just add a uh, described, which will extend the coverage report uh, at pad described, and add a uh, ext uh, extension uh, annotation in in it. So we can implement a tool simply like that. Just extend the uh, add path and uh, add a static final static uh, class which will extend the uh, uh, coverage report add path described. Uh, we can simply by doing the two things to implement uh, uh, a code coverage tool. So um, So uh, we can just do, do the two things to uh, implement a uh, code coverage uh, talk. And the sec then, uh, how how does it work? Uh, so uh, as we uh, as we described just uh, before, all of the code coverage uh, report have the same structure and have similar content. Mm. So we can uh, do the most repeat work uh, by uh, by using this, this, this those uh, similarity, uh, in order to uh, implement this, uh, we, we, uh, if you are uh, if you are plugin developer, you can simply do these two things. Uh, first is a uh, first is a simple standard uh, report format for each uh, language, and uh, second is. Uh, uh, XSL file to convert origin report to the standard format. Mm -hmm. So, what is the standard report format? Uh, uh, as you know, uh, for each, um, as you know, for each language, they have different uh, uh, standard. Uh, they have different structure. Like Java, uh, the structure is most like uh, the uh, project, module, package, class, method, method, and uh, other things, uh, and like that. So, uh, we should have a standard, simple standard report format for each language. For Java, it may be uh, like a set. Uh, so for Java, it may be like that. Uh, we have a, a whole, we have a reporter, and we have a module, we have a package, we have a file, we have a class, and so on. So this is a simple file format from Kabachua reporter. Uh, but for other uh, language, it should uh, uh, like uh, similar of with that with this. Uh, by use uh, by using the uh, standard format report, uh, we can easily to make it make it easy uh, more easy to uh, easier to pass make it more easier to pass and also uh, more easier to convert from original uh, report. Oh, uh, the second is a. Uh, XSL file to convert the original report to the standard format. Mm. Uh, we can see in Kabachula, in Kabachula report at path, uh, we have uh, the two methods uh, must to implement. One is get XL file, and another is get a XD scheme file to validate this uh, validate the report. So uh, this is the XL file to convert the original report to uh, standard format report. 
uh, if we design the stand formatter reporter properly, uh, it can simple uh, like that. Oh, so the, uh, we can it can simple like that. So the whole work uh, a plugin developer want who want to uh, implement a, a code coverage talk. Code coverage report at pad and uh, uh, have a uh, this class uh, inside of it. Uh, the second is to uh, implement a Excel file to convert it to origin to standard format report. Uh, by doing this, by doing these two things, uh, we can easily uh, implement a code coverage talk. If I understand correctly, it's only one of options because even uh, if you do not want to implement XSL files, etc., there is still an opportunity to create a reporter in the low level. So there is a base extension point which is not based on XSL, right? Yeah, uh, this slide is not a. Uh, 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 the all the all plugin now is a prototype. So other extension point like a uh, uh, threshold and. Uh, uh, the comment uh, is not completed now, so I don't put it in our slides now. But uh, we also can uh, implement other st uh, other uh, uh, extension point to uh, have a more future, but uh, it uh, was not completed. <laughs> so, so maybe you could show a short demo of how it works now as a prototype. So uh, this uh, so this is the whole process of our uh, plugin. Uh, it's a simple process of our uh, plugin, and uh, we can, uh, we'll show you a demo uh, uh, to show it how it actually works. So I have started the project. I have started the uh, plugin uh, just in before the presentation, and uh, I can. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we can add a, a post build action like a publish coverage report. Uh, for default, uh, at uh, default, it will automatically find the uh, report. Uh, it is say uh, if we have a uh, if we have uh, two report in our uh, workspace, so the plugin will automatically find it and. Uh, uh, match it to the add path. Uh, so we can not, uh, we can uh, don't add the, uh, don't uh, put the uh, reporter file, uh, reporter pass, uh, don't, uh, don't specify the reporter pass. Uh, but also we can uh, specify it uh, manually like that. We can also add the coco, then dot XML. And uh, so we can specify this all is the uh, end style. So we can also uh, manually specify it. And also we can um, set the threshold uh, for all of the report. This is the global coverage slash, global coverage slash hold. But uh, uh, we can also have the uh, uh, language level uh, slash hold uh, uh, in the future, but it is not complete now. And uh, like that we can, uh, So uh, we save the configuration, and uh, uh, when we start the build, it will automatically find the uh, report. So as you can see, now we have uh, two report. Uh, one is Kabatula uh, and one is Jacoco. Uh, it is similar uh, in our uh, workspace. Is the same in our workspace, and uh, uh, so the chart I did, so uh, we also have discussed the uh, more user 
more user friendly interface uh, in the slide. So uh, I plan to uh, replace this this older. Uh, this is uh, from commercial plugin, and I plan to uh, replace it with more modernized and uh, uh, user friendly uh, user friendly chat. Uh, but it, uh, I have completed the part of that. Part of that. Uh, the other is not uh, complete now. So we can, as you can see, uh, we have found two report. One is Coco, one is Kabachula. And uh, we can click in Kabachula and uh, see the report from, the content of report from Kabachula. Also, we can uh, see the content of the Coco College coverage report. And uh, uh, so, so this is the uh, prototype now. And uh, uh, English is not my uh, first. Uh, is not my na native language. Is, so uh, it is not maybe not. Uh, uh, so maybe I don't uh, say it cl clearly. Uh, but uh, yeah. So I, I think uh, it is uh, completed. Oh, 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 I, I have, I also have to, I, I also, I forgot to introduce my, the simple, uh, the basic process. So the uh, whole process of uh, this plugin uh, is like, like uh, that. Publish will uh, find the iPad and provide it, uh, and find it, and provide a configuration option according to the iPad's uh, uh, publish have found. A uh, user can uh, configure them. And then, uh, once user configure the iPad, uh, uh, the college publisher will uh, pass it to uh, college processor. Processor will according to the configure of iPad, and uh, also can automatically find this report uh, and convert it to uh, college college result, and uh, finally uh, aggregate them all into the college result. And this is the basic uh, uh, process. Uh, for now, it still have many content, but the size is small. So, uh, it, I, I think it, it is completed. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe you could uh, spend a few minutes and uh, show how to contact you and how to reach out to project contributors if you there if somebody is interested. Oh, okay. So, uh, if you're interested in the uh, in this project project, uh, you can uh, talk with us in our this channel, uh, mm -hmm. and also uh, you can um, uh, send an email uh, list in my uh, list in my uh, GitHub uh, list in my GitHub page, mm -hmm. uh, and also you can find more information in our uh, project page on Jenkins. Oh. Right, so for each uh, Google Summer of Code project, we have a separate page on the Jenkins IO website. Now you can see the uh, page on uh, uh, my uh, uh, display. So you can uh, use it uh, as a reference. And here you may see that there is a link to the chat, also GitHub repository. And later we'll have more links once we get more content, including this introductory video and presentation. So it will be posted on this page. OK. Uh, if you want to ask questions, it's also possible to use common uh, Jenkins mailing lists for that, like uh, Jenkins developer mailing uh, list. Uh, mailing uh, this. OK, so there is Jenkins developer mailing list. And feel free to join this list or ask questions there. And you can uh, also browse all previous conversations. OK, uh, that's it uh, with the introduction, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, we could, uh, OK. By the way, have you seen my screen? Because no. no, I can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh, sh sorry, because yeah, I thought I've started sharing the screen. Oh, 
Okay, it explains. Okay, do you see it now? Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have a page uh, on uh, Jenkins IO website. Uh, it's uh, Jenkins. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, we have projects JSOC, and here you may find uh, all uh, Google Summer of Code projects, and his code coverage API. Here you may find all these. It's uh, uh, share reference it. So here's a Gitter link. You just uh, click on it, and you can uh, see it uh, on uh, the website. Um, and yeah, mm, uh, there is also GitHub repository where you can see all the current progress. You can try out uh, the code. Uh, is even in the current state, uh, it already does something. And I hope we will have uh, an alpha maybe by the end of this coding phase. And yeah. And, uh, it would be the best uh, the best way to ask questions. And of course, a Jenkins developer mailing list. If you want to raise a question, if you want to ask how to use API, and uh, if you want to request any additional features for API integrations for visualization, uh, just uh, raise the question there, and we will handle it. Okay, uh, and I'm not sharing my screen again, right? No, you're not sharing anymore. Uh, when did it stop? Um, I'm not exactly. After you did the, um, after you had the window open with the GSOC main page. Oh yeah. Okay, at least uh, people have seen a GSOC page. I do not know what's going on with Google Hangouts. Sorry. Uh, I will just uh, post uh, all uh, the links in uh, the follow-up and in the video recording then. Uh, sorry about that. So, um, to the participants, do you have any questions or would you like to discuss something about the project, about the implementation? Okay, uh, so if there are any questions, uh, then uh, uh, just let's just follow up uh, by existing channels. And uh, yeah, uh, we also have uh, a Jira project uh, for this plugin. So if you want to request a particular feature, maybe the best way is to just create a Jira ticket. We will discuss them and uh, uh, create something for one of the next sprints then. Okay, uh, that's it uh, with the presentation, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Shea, for the introduction of the project. Um, I, yeah, looking forward to see more results uh, in next week. So thanks everybody. I'm stopping the broadcast and then uh, let's just sync up uh, on uh, the organizational uh, side of the project.